Good morning guys, so I thought I'd do a weekend vlog this weekend, so Saturday today we're going to head to the beach to do a beach workout with our friend. We're also heading to Harvey Norman, I think I'm going to buy the Fitbit Versa 3, so I thought I might do a Fitbit Versa 3 review for you guys as I've done a lot of research on all of the Fitbits and all of the fitness tracker slash fitness watches. Yeah, let's get straight on into this weekend vlog. If you guys do enjoy, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and yeah, let's get straight on into it. Okay, so this is the outfit that I'm wearing for the run. So I've just got this Gymshark top and these Lululemon shorts and yeah, I'm just about to cook up some bricky. I think we. I'm just going to make like a sandwich for breakfast. We literally don't have any food in the house. Um, I need to go food shopping tomorrow. So I'm just going to whip up some breakfast. We've got some energy for the run. And then I'll see you guys probably at the beach. Okay, so this is the most random breakfast, but we're literally having a sandwich for breakfast. I've got my gluten-free bread with just some chicken, spinach, and a little bit of this sweet chili relish. I just realized I didn't film our run along the beach just because I left the camera in the car. I didn't want to take it with me for the run. We ended up doing 5Ks, like all on the soft sand, so I left everything in the car. But I might take you guys along with us for our training next weekend as we're going to be doing like hill sprints and things, so I might film that one. But yeah, we're going to be training as a group every single week um, for this little comp that we've got going on, which will be super fun. But anyway, I'm just gonna go make up some breakfast. Let's get up now, come on. <laughs> make some bricky. Baby, why are you eating my lunch already? Need some protein up in there. Okay, we're back from the beach. We did our morning run session, our second run of our training. So we're training for this competition called the Ultimate Athlete, which is on, on the 11th of June. And basically it's a, you can either choose the 6K run or the 10K run. And then it's basically just like a full-on obstacle course with all sorts of obstacles, eh? Yeah, so we chose the 6k one. <laughs> <laughs> so it starts off with like a run around the base of this mountain called Mount Manganui. And then, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff like inverted wall climbs, like monkey bars, like under the rope. That whole part sounds cool, but we haven't run it in like freaking forever eh? Yeah, too long, yeah. We haven't run in like a year because we've been focused on like gaining muscle, building muscle. My body type naturally loses weight quite fast so in order for me to like build muscle I had to be in like a full on calorie surplus which meant that I wasn't doing much cardio for like a large portion of last year and then Jaren decided to join in with me. Okay, so I've made some like lunch. This is our post-workout lunch so just gluten-free pasta, some tuna, pesto, and beans. You can't eat that? Yeah. You can eat some of that. I'll give you half. Half? Oh <laughs> yeah, and some slave camp. So yeah, we're gonna have some lunch. We ended up on the way home, we stopped off at McDonald's. Harvey Norman. You wish we stopped off at McDonald's. Um. We stopped off at Harvey Norman and I brought the Fitbit Versa 3. Was that the one I got? Yeah. Yeah. So I might do like a little Fitbit Versa 3 review for you guys in a minute, or oh, after lunch. So yeah, let's just eat up some lunch and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so like I said before, I ended up going to Harvey Norman today and we ended up looking at all of the Fitbits. I ended up deciding to get the Fitbit Versa 3, which I have been doing a lot of research about. So it's just this one here. So the Fitbit Versa 3. So yeah, I thought I'd do a wee little Fitbit Versa 3 review for you guys. Also guys, I better mention that the price isn't the price that I paid for it. So it originally was $4.48 and I ended up paying for it $3.78. So there was a sale on the Fitbits and yeah, thought I'd better get in there. There are like a whole variety of fitness watches, but I've done a lot of watching of reviews and whatnot to try and figure out what one would be best for me. And this one was like a decent price range, to be honest. So yeah, I thought this would be the best one for me to go for. Okay, so let's do the Fitbit Versa 3 unboxing. Okay, so here we are. Okay, so this actually isn't the first Fitbit that I have had. So I used to have the Fitbit, R um, no, what was the name of it? The Fitbit Charge. I actually loved my old Fitbit, so I thought 
I loved all the functions, so I thought I would stick with the Fitbit range. I know there are a few other ones like the Garmin and the Apple Watch as well, but after sort of just doing my research, I thought that the Fitbit had all of the things that I needed. So, so I really just loved like the look of that, just so sleek. And of course I had to get black. I just thought there's no point in getting the white one. I'll probably end up getting it dirty because I do like my last one I wore all the time. So we've got just this charger, which you obviously plug into like a USB charging port and it's just like a magnet. So there we are. Okay, so the reason why I went for the Fitbit Versa 3 is just because of all of the different like exercise functions that it came with, like skiing, swimming, running, weights, so like especially the other ones like the Apple Watch and the Garmin, I don't think they were as suited to like weights training per se, which is something that I do five, six days a week. So I wanted something that was just more catered towards like fitness. But yeah, that's basically why I chose this Fitbit Versa 3. In my opinion, I would say price wise and functionality wise, this one would to me probably beats most others on the market for the price range if you are looking for something with more functions obviously it's going to be a little bit more expensive but this is really all i need for what i do on a day-to-day -day basis so yeah that's why i got this one anyway that's the end of my little fitbit versa 3 review we're now going to head off for dinner really soon. I think we're gonna go to this place called Sushi Tommy and they do like this amazing like chicken teriyaki um, dish. So yeah, we're just gonna head there now. I'm gonna get all ready and I'll probably see you guys at dinner. Not bad, but this meal. <laughs> Tem Temapura prawns, are they good? Temapura prawns. Are they nice, babe? Yeah. And then I got, what is this? Chicken teriyaki, yeah. With rice and salad. to get my bananas for my smoothie and Jeremy seems to have replaced the fruit with fruit bursts. <laughs> Baby? I can't believe it. Well, I'll add that in there. Anyway, I'm just making my morning super greens shake. So I'm just gonna blend that up. Okay, it's now the next day. It's now Sunday morning. Um, we went out for dinner last night and just came home and relaxed. I'm gonna continue on with the weekend vlog. I'm gonna be heading to the gym soon. And I thought I will try out this Fitbit Versa 3. It is the first time working out with it on. So yeah, I'll give it a little test run, see how I find it. But yeah, I've just made up some, my green smoothie. Gonna have this. And then, yeah, we'll see you guys at the gym. See you soon. Okay, we just finished that upper body session, upper body and abs. Oh, I'm sweaty today, oh my god. Anyway, we're gonna go straight for lunch. Jaren finished about 10 minutes ago to have a shower because 
He's so slow at getting ready, so <laughs> I'm just about to hop in the shower, get changed, and then yeah, we're meeting my family for lunch, so probably see you guys there. Also, I'll run through how I found this Fitbit Versa 3 when I get home from lunch. Um, I'm just about to stop it, and then I'll have a look at my phone and see how all the stats look. So yeah, I'll run through that later. Once we've had some lunch and rest a little bit. Lunch for two. <laughs> Do you think? Oh, they did too. <laughs> they did too. Oh my goodness, my hand got in the way. <laughs> Sorry. You can see yourself. See? Yes, no, thanks. <laughs> so, so you can do a proper selfie like you can on one of these things. Yeah. <laughs> Yum. Chocolate in the bowl. Go pour it. I was just going to tip it there. Dip it in. Yeah. Oh, pour it over. Don't be greedy. Yeah. Yum. Oh. I'm so glad I got this. This is definitely the best one. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Okay guys, so we just got back from lunch out, which was amazing. We just like went all out and had um, the best meal, had like donuts for dessert and everything. Um, anyway, so I thought what I'd do is go through the Fitbit Versa 3, like how that went in my workout this morning. So I'm just on the app at the moment. So this is just the Fitbit app and I've clicked into my, this one here. So I'll show you on the screen. So it basically shows you your active minutes. So I set it at the weights mode. So basically the workout was one hour and nine minutes, 225 calories, and average heart rate was 105 beats per minute. So it set us in the fat burn zone for 13 minutes, and then below zones for 56 minutes. For weights training anyway, you don't really need to be, your heart rate shouldn't be crazy high. So yeah, that's where I would say I would want my heart rate and I'd want all my stats to be. I wasn't in the cardio zone at all, which is kind of what you want for, for my kind of training, for my weights training days when I'm focused on hypertrophy. That is the range that I want. If I'm focused on more of like a cardio day, obviously you want your heart rate to be a lot higher. But yeah, I think this is just awesome for tracking everything. So. I'll definitely be using this pretty much on every workout that I do and super glad that I got it yesterday. Anyway, so my thoughts on it so far is it's pretty good. Obviously, I'll need to kind of use it for a few more workouts before I know how it really is, but I'm sure I'll love it just as much as I like the other Fitbit that I had. Anyway, so I've only done 2,700 steps today. So Jaren and I are going to go and do a walk as we're aiming to do at least 10,000 steps at the moment. We're on our... Um, fat loss phase at the moment <laughs> obviously today's meals didn't kind of show that <laughs> but it was the weekend and we decided to just go hard but yeah so we're gonna go do a little walk and then come home probably have just a nice light dinner so yeah I thought I'd wrap up the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys